Hey, Beth, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited to get to connect this morning. It is. Well, I'm sorry. It popped up on my phone as Brando Williams, and I was like, <laughs> I don't know a Brando, and she's supposed to be calling, so I'm not going to answer the phone. <laughs> Brando? Well, so my husband's name's Brandon. Um, yeah, well, it came up in, so... caps, in, in, in all caps, Brando Williams. That is like, funny. No, Maybe that's my alter ego. I have no idea. <laughs> Brando. <that's funny. laughs> that is weird that it popped up any name at all. So bizarre. So bizarre. Well, anyway, I'm super excited to get to um, connect. Um, I, I did not realize what time I sent you a message this morning, but I was um, Mondays. I usually get up super early and hit that 5 a.m. class so that I can be done for the day. So anyways, are you at the office today or is this a work from home day? Uh, well, it's always a work from home day for me because my office is at my house. Oh, that is <laughs> nice. Do you love that? I do. I really do. How I long have you been that. in real estate? I don't need a brick and mortar. Mm-mm. Me either, girl. How long have you been doing what you do? Um, I have been a real estate agent since 2004. Oh, cool. Very um, nice. But we moved here in 2016. We were PCS here from Tinker. Um, and so, uh, I started selling real estate in Georgia. I got my license transferred here in 20, uh, 19. Okay. So for a few years, I was a, um, I was the HR director for an international company out of, uh, Japan. Okay. And then, and then I was like, you know what? I'm going back to real estate. Mm -hmm. Well, you picked (laughs) a good time to be in it. I mean, it's crazy for y'all now I hear, but at least business is good, right? Business is really good, and I haven't. It, uh, it's been it's been really good to me, and I guess because um, I've done it for so long, it wasn't hard for me to break into the market. You yeah. know what I mean? I oh, for sure. What I needed to do. Um, so yeah, it's been really good, and I love it. Well, so. that is awesome. I have a couple of really good friends who are um, real estate agents, and they say, I mean, they say the same thing. They really, other than the crazy schedule, which I guess you really can kind of control how much you're willing to sacrifice as far as schedule goes, but um, other than that, they absolutely love it too. So, well, that's, yeah, I awesome. try not, I try to keep my weekends open. Mm-hmm. Um, just, I just don't, I don't make it a habit of working weekends. I might take a few calls. I'll show property if I have to, but Sundays are no's for me. That's a awesome. family day. Same. So I do the yeah. same exact thing. And, and I find that people actually respect the boundaries, you know, they don't, well, you gotta to... have them or you'll be working 24 seven. <laughs> Yeah. And then for what, like for work, all of that and have what to sh- like family relationships, you can't get time, you know, you can't no. make more time. You can always make more money. So anyway, speaking of time, I know your time is valuable. So, um, I just always like to connect with my team, make sure that you know what to expect on your products. Um, I'd love to tell you a little bit about my story and then I'll just answer any questions that you have. Does that sound okay? Okay. All right, cool. So I have been using Plexus products for about seven years, um, which it seems crazy that it's been that long, but I got turned onto the products because I struggled with really high blood pressure, like really out of control, high blood pressure, even though we eat well, we eat, you know, I work out daily. Um, I had to stay on anywhere from five to seven different blood pressure medications just to kind of keep it regulated. Um, and I, I did not like that. I was almost 30 at the time that I started Plexus. Um, and my kids used to pick on me. I have four kids. Um, and they used to pick on me because I had like those little pill containers that said Monday AM, Monday PM, you know, and they would be like, mom, you're not old. Why do you have those? Um, but I was on anxiety medicine. I was a school teacher. Um, and sometimes I feel like anxiety meds come with the degree, Uh, but I was on anxiety meds. I was on restless leg medicine and I just didn't feel at 30, like I thought I ought to. So my friend had been posting about Plexus, um, how it had helped her with some digestive issues and her husband with his allergy issues. And so I just reached out to her and said, Hey, listen, um, tell me why Plexus seems to help with so many unrelated things. It didn't make any sense to me. Um, And so that's kind of where the journey towards researching and understanding gut health and blood sugar balance kind of came into play. So um, obviously I learned that those are the two root issues of health. That's why it seems to help everybody with everything. Um, And so I jumped in with the products. It took me about six months and we were able to cut my blood pressure meds in half. And then by the one year mark, we were able to come off of all of them. So that was several years ago. Yeah, it was 
it was really a huge blessing. I, I never, I didn't think that that was an option. The doctors had pretty much told me because there was no reason for the high blood pressure that they were going to have to just kind of control it with medicine forever. Um, but yeah, so that was several years ago. Um, still off of all my blood pressure meds, still off of my anxiety, anxiety meds, still no restless leg issues. Um, as a matter of fact, my three-year-old has got some restless leg stuff going on. So we're incorporating some of the triplex into his stuff, um, to help with, you know, it could be growing pains too, but anyway, so yeah, that is a little bit about my product journey. My whole entire household is on these products now. Um, my kids, I mean, they range from almost 17 all the way down to three. So they have different health needs, but, um, just trying to get a jump start on making sure gut health is a priority and, um, yeah. So, but also at the same time, balance, you know, I tell people all the time, I'm not one of those crunchy moms. Uh, I call myself a chewy mom. Sometimes I chew on kale and sometimes I chew on Laffy Taffy. So it's just, it's, it's just about balance. So that's a little bit about me. Um, tell me, I, we've talked briefly about your, your health goals. Tell me what it was that piqued your interest initially in Plexus. Um, Paul, I, you posted something about I don't remember the article that you posted, but I have struggled with um, insulin resistance mm -hmm. for probably 20 years. Okay. Um, and I am so insulin resistant that there are no medications that work. Mm. So I can't take insulin. I can't take anything. It, it, nothing works. Oh, wow. So, I mean, I don't have, right. I, I mean, I've got to just. And that, I'm hoping that it's my gut health and mm -hmm. that it'll turn around. How long has that been the issue? What? Your insulin resistance. That has been an issue for how long? Uh, about 20 years. Wow. And, and, and I have been on everything. When I say everything, I have been on everything and I can't, um, I can't either tolerate it or it doesn't work. So when I, I mean, they started you, you know, they, they always start you out on metformin. Mm -hmm. right? So start on metformin. And then I started getting bladder infections, like sure. nonstop bladder infections. And where I had to go on a prophylactic oh, no. uh, antibiotic. Yeah. And I was like, I'm not, I'm not doing this. Mm. I am not doing this. So, um, quit doing that. They took me off metformin. It has, my bladder infections have almost resolved. I'm down to one every three or four months now, Okay. but they have had me on insulin. I, I mean, they put me on insulin and I, the doses were so high. It was like, not even, they were like, we can't, we can't do anything else for you. I mean, it's just your body just, it will not respond. That is insane. So how does that manifest itself in symptoms? Are you, tell me what, like, what does that look like? How do you know when your blood sugar levels are off? Do you feel awful? I don't. That's the thing. I do not feel terrible at all. And, um, I have to, I mean, sometimes I might, um, have a feeling sweeping over me of anxiety, uh, like a, a brief, um, anxious feeling, um, which will leave pretty quick and I'll go test my sugars, but like mm. my fasting blood sugars are usually 200. Wow. Wow. Um, yeah. And, but I, I mean, I, I don't know if this is going to work or not, sure. but I'm going to try it Yeah, and, and see. Absolutely. Well, what's interesting about Plexus is it was actually created by an endocrinologist. If I'm saying that right, I always, always yeah. run those words Endocrine. together endocrinologist oh i'm telling you it's what it's one or the other it's kind of like my kid and him putting his shoes on the right feet you have a 50 50 chance and i'm telling you i say it wrong 50 percent of the time and the other 50 percent of the time i sound like i know what i'm talking about um well, it, it sounds like it sounds right either way so yeah. Uh, yeah i'm just whatever so it was actually created by that guy and um when they put it out they actually were going to release it as a type 2 diabetic aid um, that was the whole plan behind Plexus Slim. Uh, it was before it had a name. It was just called Plexus Pink. Um, and what they found in the clinical trials was not only did it um, did it address the blood sugar issues, did it help with regulating blood sugar over 24 hour periods, but the participants in the study lost weight. So it was there that they were like, hmm, like what's a bigger market, diabetics or like the entire population, you know, weight loss aid. So that's actually where it all came from. Um, and there's a ton of science behind it. I'm sure you're familiar with a bunch of it. 
Um, but basically it's just a matter of, in, you know, increasing your cells sensitivity to insulin. Um, yeah. and it's, it's this resistance that we've, we've done to ourselves, you know, just society, culturally, just genetically, we've, we've toughened up our cells sensitivities to insulin. So I'm super excited for you to be giving these products a shot. Like we talked about, it's, it's a process, you know, this anytime yeah. that you're doing something with natural um, gut health focused stuff. It's going to be a process. Doesn't mean that you won't be noticing small gradual changes from the get go. Um, but the, the main thing is just being super consistent on your products. Um, are you a big water drinker? I am. And that's all I drink. Okay, good. And, and I, um, I try to keep, so I have been, um, overweight my entire life. Like I have a thyroid problem that happened when I was five years old. And I, um, I have always carried excess weight and I am at right now, I'm at the lowest weight I have been, um, it, since I can even remember my highest weight was 350. Wow. Um, and so over, yeah, I've lost a hundred and, uh, about 140. Congratulations. Pounds, but I still need to lose about 40 sure. more. Sure. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. And, um, and just, you know, getting this, trying to get my sugar, I guess my A1C numbers to where my doctor mm -hmm. feels comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, it, needs, it needs to be under seven. It's it, it, the last time I checked, it was 6.9. Okay. So it was, cre it was creeping up. Um, I'm having uh, blood work done at the end of November. Awesome. So um, this will give me a couple months to see if I can't yes. uh, get a little, get it a little bit under control better. Absolutely. So. Well, and the missing link, I mean, that's how, tell me what you've done to drop 140 pounds. A combination of things. So I went on the whole 30 originally. Perfect. Yes. Um, and then, uh, after that, um, I just tried to eat clean. Yep. Um, and it, this has been a process over. So I went through a divorce in 2012. Okay. Um, and then I got reunited with my, um, high school sweetheart and we, um, he was, in the air force, okay. very fit. Okay. Um, and so he introduced me to the whole 30. Um, and, and I dropped 70 pounds probably in, I don't know, three months. It was pretty quick. Wow. Um, and then we just kept eating clean and, um, my weight just kind of stayed the same. Um, then I went, I did, uh, I've done everything, mm -hmm. uh, everything you can think of mm -hmm. the latest one I did last year was Optavia. I yeah. started Optavia last September and I dropped about 45 pounds. And then we went off at Christmas. Yeah. My husband has gained weight, right? He retired in 2018. So he's put on weight. We both, he lost about 50 pounds. And then at Christmas time, we went off and we have struggled, just struggled to get back on and have been able to. And we both have gained 20 pounds. Okay. So I, um, I'm trying to, I, I've tried to start Optavia over and over again. And I just, I can't, I just, for some reason it's in my head. Yeah. I don't know. I can't yeah. stick to it. Yeah. I just, Isn't I it funny have, how mental we are? Hunger, you know, mm -hmm. I'm hungry. I'm, I'm, I'm craving bad things. So I'm hoping this, I think um, the article you posted was something about the cravings. Yep. You know, yeah. I just need that to stop. And a lot of that's my high blood sugar. When your sugar's high, you crave sugar, you crave carbs, but I don't keep any of that in my house. Yep. Well, I can relate to the, just the mental discipline. It's crazy how much we control between our ears. Um, so I get I that. And, and in my head. I know I'm girl. I'm the same and way. I'm in my, my mid fifties. Like I should feel better. <laughs> It's so hard. I mean, it's like, it's all or nothing. I mean, they're all the way fully 100% committed or I'm not. And I mean, it's why, I mean, I I'm the fittest I've ever been. And I, yet I track my macros more diligently than I ever have. And people are like, I don't understand. Like, why don't you just live your life? And I'm like, you, that's right. You don't understand because I know my brain and I'm telling you, if I'm not intentional, then I will go completely the other direction completely the other direction for me. I try to keep it under a thousand calories a day. Um, but I, and I'm not an exerciser. Like okay. I, I just do not like to exercise. Sure. I'll get in the pool and mm -hmm. do aerobics and stuff like that, but I am not, you're not going to fi ever find me at the gym. Sure. Just, 
Yeah. It's just not who I am. Yeah. And, and listen, and, and listen, that's, that's okay. There are other ways, you know, like you said, get in the pool, go for a walk, whatever. Um, yeah. so are you eating enough calories? Do you feel like a thousand calories is enough? Do you, are you hungry? Um, I'm not. So like, um, it's funny because I'll wake up, um, and I'll probably, I probably won't, I'll have nothing. And I, I don't drink anything but water. Okay. Nothing ever crosses my lips except for water. Okay. So no coffee, um, no nothing, no coffee, okay. no soda, no okay. alcohol, nothing. I am a, I'm purely water. Okay. Um, but I will go probably, um, maybe from eight o'clock at night until probably two o'clock in the afternoon um, before I'll have a protein shake or something okay. like that. Um, and I'm, and I'm okay with that, but my, my thyroid, I'm so hypothyroid yeah. that, I mean, my body temperature. Oh, that's another thing. Somebody mentioned about body temperature. Mm-hmm. My body temperature is low. Okay. Um, and, and I, somebody on your site mentioned something about the, the low body temperature. Mm-hmm. And, and so I'm, I'm hoping that I'm just going to be able to do this, um, not make any other changes, mm-hmm. uh, and just see, and just see what happens because mm-hmm. I do eat for the most part, we eat pretty clean. Okay. I mean, I have my moments. Sure. We all do. Last night I had a Whopper for dinner because we were <laughs> mm-hmm. working all day and we did, I didn't have time to fix dinner. Sure. And, uh, yeah. So, but normally we don't eat out and I eat clean. Well, I love so, that about your water. I mean, that is so, first of all, you're going to love slim just because it's going to break up the monotonous of the water, but it's so, man, it's so good that you, that that's what you're drinking. That's going to be a super, super helpful. Are you on, what are you taking for your thyroid? Uh, levothyroxine. Okay. So you're just going to separate that out. You probably have to do it with your other food anyway. Um, is it what, two hours, two, two to, two to four hours? It's thir- it's 30 minutes. Okay. Yours is just 30 minutes. Okay, cool. So I know with some thyroid medicines, it's two hours, you know, separate b- between you that and drinking or eating anything. So, which is fine. I mean, if you want to wait and have the slim with your lunch, since you kind of do that intermittent fasting thing, um, if you don't want to break that fast with slim, you can have slim in the afternoon. There's not any, you know, artificial caffeine or anything that's going to keep you up. So it's completely fine to ha- hold off and have that later in the day. So don't, don't feel like you have to rush that in the morning. Um, if you, if you don't care about breaking the fast, then go ahead and take it in the morning. Um, so you don't have to eat after you take it. No, I mean, see, here's the thing again, it was created for diabetics. And so the idea is that you would consume it 30 minutes before a meal so that your body can kind of get to work as the insulin's coming in from the meal consumption. So ideally, but I mean, here's the thing. I got four kids. I run a really successful business. Like I, sometimes I don't even know when I'm going to eat. So, um, I mean, there's a perfect world and then there's my world. And so, um, it's kind of like reading my Bible. If I can't get in there for 30 minutes, at least I can get in there for 15. So, um, just, you know, make, make a concerted effort. If you, I mean, even before supper is fine. Um, so yeah, it doesn't, that's it's, twice a day, right? it's the drink is once a day. Now you oh, okay. can do twice a day and really with your blood sugar, let's, let's get this first month underway. Um, we're going to follow a schedule. We're going to start you on everything slowly. The first couple of days, it's just the pink drink. Then we'll kind of gradually bring in the other products, but month two, let's keep in the back of our mind. We might want to add another bag of slim. We could even add the other flavor so that you could have it twice a day, especially if you want to try to get that A1C knocked down a little bit before November. So let's just keep that in our brain. I don't want to jump too fast in this first month. Let's get your body acclimated because you know how it is when you add a new gut health product, you you just want to go slowly so that there's not any detox, not that detox is bad for you. Uh, but we just want to minimize it. I mean, you don't want to be sitting here having sluggishness or a headache or whatever. So I, I very, very rarely have that happen. Um, but when somebody does struggle with detox, it's typically because they've got major underlying health issues, which, you know, with your thyroid, that could be considered that. So that's why we'll follow that schedule so slowly. And that's why we'll be in such constant communication. So if you're like, Hey, I've noticed in this today and what should I do? I have tons of tips and tricks. Um, the biggest one, most of the time when people are having detox issues is that they're not drinking water. So that's not going to be an issue with you, which I'm super relieved about. So, um, but yeah, I mean, you can all, you can do two a day, so there's nothing wrong with it. If you find yourself, you know, just needing a second one, go for it. It's nothing, it's not going to hurt you. 
Um, cholesterol yeah so if you were to go google cholesterol and gut health yeah you're going to find a ton of correlations tons okay. and tons and tons really beth anything that you were to say even down to like this sounds so funny but this happened one time um i'm like google anything that you struggle with and so they googled toe fungus and toe fungus and gut health and gut health, and lo and behold, study after study after study, dandruff and gut health. Yep. I mean, just about anything. And I mean, Socrates said it centuries ago, you know, disease begins in the gut. And he was exactly right. Exactly right. Um, so there, there's just tons and tons of studies that show even major things like the big C word that people struggle with, like not COVID, the other C word. Um, I'm head, I'm head, I am a survivor. Are you? Yeah. Well, that is amazing. What type, if you don't mind me asking? Um, uterine. Oh, wow. Wow. So I had, I was pregnant. I was 36 years old. Okay. I had not been able to have children. I was 36 years old. I was five months pregnant. Oh, um, no. I went into labor. I delivered in my bathtub at home. Oh. Um, my my ex-husband, um, my husband at the time, scooped it up, mm. put it in a plastic bag. We went to the emergency room. They did uh, an emergency DNC on me. Wow. And then about two months later, my doctor calls me and she said, you know, we never brought you into the office to talk about your results and you need to come down and see me. So I didn't think anything about it. Right. I had gone through the loss. Mm -hmm. um, I thought I was going to go talk about fertility pill, or, you know, some, something um, to get me to where I could um, carry a, a baby because I had, had multiple uh, miscarriages. They had done vaginal ultrasounds. They were all normal. All my pack smears were normal. And when um, when they did the DNC and they scraped all the tissue out of my uterus, they sent it off right for pathology. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it came back as uterine cancer. Wow. So I um and they can't stage it right. They don't know. Like, so I didn't know if I was going to live or die or if I was going to survive. I mean, I had no idea until surgery because they can't stage it till they take take it out right. So it was completely encapsulated into my uterus. I mean, it was a God thing. Uh, you know, looking back on it now, it saved my life because I would have never, they would have never found it until it metastasized. Mm -hmm. Uterine cancer will metastasize to your ovaries or your cervix, and that's how they find it. And then it's too late. I mean, you can't. Sure, you sure. But anyway, it had only eaten a third of the way through the wall of my uterus. So they were able to do a hysterectomy um, you know, and that, that ended that. And then, but I was never able to have children, but I now have four step kids. So, well, that's awesome. So you'll get to have those kids and grandbabies and all of that. Yeah. Wow. What a story, man. That's a testimony right there. I know it was, wow. a, it was a terrible time. I'm sure but I survived it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, you are just going to, the more you learn about these products, the more you're going to just be amazed and excited. And I think this is the reason that sets Plexus apart from other things like Optivia or something like that is at the end of the day, if you take Optivia away, then you're still left with the same problems. And with Plexus, I think it's it, the difference is that you set your body up, you set an environment up for healing to take place from the inside out. I mean, you're balancing your gut health, you're regulating blood sugar levels. And that, I mean, that is, that's the root, that's core. Um, it's not just um, addressing symptoms or putting scaffolds in place to support. It's really, really creating a, a system of, of healing, which I think is the difference. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I have no doubt that you're going to love these products. Um, I have no doubt that you're going to be a voice for, for these products to other people. I mean, clearly you have a testimony. Um, and I mean, people are probably watching you and what you do health wise anyways, just because of the results that you've had in the past. I mean, that is inspiring. The fact that you have, you've lost all of that weight and that you're continuing to drive forward, even if you have a setback here and there, the fact that you're still staying focused. So it's like, it's been like five, uh, let's see, you know, it's been like seven or nine years. I mean, it's, it's been a journey. Yeah. So, okay. I have been overweight. I mean, I have struggled and I, you know, I got up to three, I got up to three fifty after I lost the baby and went through all of, sure. you know, I, I just totally lost myself. Yeah. So yeah. a lot of that was emotional, of you course, know, of course, but yeah, it's just, um, 
I want to be the best. I mean, I'm 55, right? And and we want to travel mm-hmm. uh, with, when Paige retires. And I want to just, I want to be healthy. I don't want to, I don't want to have to worry about my blood sugar. Yeah. I don't want to have to worry about, you know, anything. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Well, you definitely made a good choice. I'm excited to get to support you. Um, and I'm curious, have you considered ever doing something like what I do? I mean, with your health testimony, with the influence that you have, if you coupled with products that you believed could help every single person, have you ever considered sharing that? Um, I, I, I haven't because I don't have, I don't have the time. Yeah. Um, I just, I, I don't now. Will I, will I use it as a platform to help other people? Yes, definitely. Mm-hmm. I'll share. But as far as, um, as becoming a distributor or anything like that, I, I don't have, I do not have the time. I, with the four t- kids, with my four kids, with um, my husband, with our family, you know, and all the stuff that we do extra. And then my, my real estate career is crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but yeah, I just don't, I do not have. Sure. I just I can't do it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I can absolutely relate. I felt the exact same way. Um, so yeah, I mean, as you're talking with people and it comes up, just know um you can always connect them with me. You can refer them here. Um, you'll get those referral bonuses, which are in the upwards of hundreds of you know, hundreds and thousands of dollars that you could earn by referring them. Um, and I could kind of do the heavy lifting for you as far as the educating them and getting them started and all that. So um, just know that that's that I'm here. Um, you know, we, we talk to people all day, every day anyway. So as you continue to learn more about the products, you'll probably, when somebody mentions, man, I have a migraine, you'd be like, Ooh, I think Plexus helps with migraines. <laughs> so, and I'll be glad to do that. Yeah. And I can, I can absolutely help you with that. So I'm super pumped. Your products should be here very quickly. They ship out of Atlanta now, even though home office is in Arizona. So they'll be here quick. We'll get that scheduled to you. Um, and we'll get you off rocking and rolling, but I'm super pumped for you. I'm looking forward to it. Well, listen, Beth, save my number. Uh, don't save it as Brando. I'm definitely not Brando. Um, but if I can do anything for you, just know that I will. Um, and I'm excited about All right. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. I'll talk to you real soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye, Beth.